Welcome to Aerial Photography Florida. Today we'll be using the map search function to look for historical aerial photographs of the Ben Hill Griffin Stadium at the University of Florida. Let's begin by clicking on the map search tab at the top left hand side of the page. The map that appears on screen shows Florida and the southeast of the United States. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to focus on an area of the screen, not just a single point as in the other tutorials. Of course, studying an area can be very useful if you want to have a broader appreciation of how land use has changed over time in a given space. So you might be looking at a county-wide level, you may be looking at a city. In our case, we're going to look at Gainesville, and we'll go on to find the stadium within Gainesville but I want to show you how you would search for an area of the map. So let's start out by identifying Gainesville and we can see it's here on the map and we can simply double click to zoom in. Now of course if you don't know where your town or city is and it's too small to appear on the map you'll need to find out that information before you're able to zoom in. So let's zoom in again until we get Gainesville in the center of the screen. So, basically there I zoomed in several times and now Gainesville, the city of Gainesville, is in the center of the screen and I want to select the whole of this area as my study site. So I want the computer to t show me all the pictures, all the aerial photographs which correspond to this space. So how do I do that? Well, it's quite simple. First, go to press to select area and left click the color changes and it tells you to select the first point. Now this is the top left hand corner of a box. So I'll show you what I mean. So left click here and then it says to select the second point. Now simply drag your mouse and you can see a box appears and it appears over the city like that and you can make this as big or as small as you like. In our example we're going to make it as big as Gainesville on the screen and so to simply define the box, left click for the second point which is the bottom right hand corner. And there we have the box and you can see it's defined by these two pins and what the computer is going to look for now are all the aerial photographs which were taken of anywhere within this box. So with that information inputted all we do is simply tell the computer to search for aerial photographs using the search button at the top right. Having clicked on search we now see the aerial photographs or sets of photographs which correspond to our location on the map. So remember we're looking at the Ben Hill Griffin Stadium. What we have here is a list of all the aerial photographs that were taken over the years. If we look at the top of the list we can see that the first flight took place in 1937. As we scroll down the list, we see the subsequent flights. So we have flights in 1949, 56, 61 and 68. So we can look at changes over time for a given location. In this example, we're going to look at flight 4F, which took place in 1949. So go to the hyperlink and left click. So we've selected flight 4F 1949 and the page which appears next is this map. Now this map shows the various photographs that were taken during the course of that flight. And these photographs are represented by these colored boxes on the page which we call tiles. The green tiles are the ones that contain the location we're looking for, the Ben Hill Griffin Stadium. The blue tiles to the left are just other tiles, other photographs that were taken in the course of that flight which may or may not be of interest to you. In our case we're interested in the stadium so one of these two green tiles is what we'll want to examine. So simply make sure one of them is bold and left click to access the aerial photograph. This is the aerial photograph taken in 1949 which shows Gainesville and we can see here the city outline of Gainesville. 
Now this red circle in the centre shows us the approximate location of the Ben Hill Griffin Stadium. So we're going to want to zoom in on that to get a closer look. And we could do that using these zoom buttons here. This plus zoom and minus zoom. So to zoom in, press the plus button. Now as you can see, the map zooms in to the top left hand corner. But that's not a problem because we can recenter the map using the thumbnail bar up here. So simply find the area on the map you're interested in and luckily it will be highlighted with a red circle and just click on it. And that will mean that the map recenters over the red circle area and as you can see it's more zoomed in. We can even zoom in further. So now that's much much clearer. We're looking at the university area here and you'll need to have a keen eye to look out for the features you're after but if we zoom in once more we can see here there's the stadium and it doesn't quite look like the stadium does today the stadium's got another end to it today but of course this photograph was taken in 1949 so that's how to search for an aerial photograph and how to look for a specific feature on an aerial photograph